Hey hey hey, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be fixing this disaster of a nail. Does anyone get those clients that just like to eat their nails? They like to take their knife and fork and gobble them up? Yeah, yes. Well, I have one in particular. She is absolutely freaking so cute and amazing and I just love her so much. So I kind of forgive her for these types of behaviours. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is just not okay. So I'm going to show you, in case you do have a client that loves to just chomp on the nails, exactly how to fix it. Um, obviously if it is fixable sometimes they are beyond repair. Um, but today this one was okay so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys exactly how I fix this baby up. So I have cleansed, sanitized, you know, all that jazz, you know, everything is like hospital grade clean. Maybe not hospital grade but I like to think so. Um, I've come in with my Todak USA cuticle bit, I think this is the comb bit and I'm just removing that gel polish. I'm keeping this in real time so you guys can see exactly how I work and the angles and all that jazz. Um, I wasn't, I would, I should have really moved my camera, you'll see later on in the video, I should have moved my camera over to the other side so you could actually see the bit was chipped, like what I was actually doing. Um, I do spin it like this a lot of the time so you can see but it would have been better if I had to put the camera on the other side but I didn't think of that until afterwards did I obviously. So basically once I have removed the gel polish design I do just come in with the cuticle nippers and I think I do anyway. I'm, I'm ahead of myself. Let's just give it a minute, see where I'm at. I was inspecting the design, inspecting, it's not a design is it? I was inspecting the area, the wounded area, see how much lifting, see if it's repairable. In this instance it was because it hadn't lifted all the way. Um, so I'm coming in and blending in the acrylic with the natural nail to make that transition seamless. We don't want any bumps or lifting. So I'm just going ahead and doing that with my file. The file that I'm using is 100-180 grit. absolutely love this nail file. I buy them in bulk. I love them so freaking much. Um, so here I am again looking where I need to be filing. You constantly want to be checking and all that jazz. And there's just a slight bit of lifting. So if there's any lifted areas, you want to come in with your nippers and just nip away that liftedness. Um, yeah pretty much that's all I'm doing right now and then once you've removed as much as possible with that come back in with your hand file and then um, start filing away so you're not filing the natural nail here you are filing on the edge of the acrylic where it meets the natural nail so nothing touches the natural nail um, because that would be stupid you'd be thinning it down you'd be making it sore and just uncomfortable for the client so that is not what we're going for all we're doing is blending in making sure we've got rid of any lifting areas and then we can go ahead and build the nail back up um, I do like to some people are super confident with the drill I mean I am super confident with it but when it comes to the natural nail it's a big no-no even if I'm just like that close to it like blending that in I prefer so much to do it in my hand file rather than using the drill that's just my preference and um, so I'm coming in now and shaping the nail up this isn't like the final shape but just shaping it up so that I can kind of get an idea where I need to sculpt that other side in um, just as a little guide and I'm just gonna take a sip of my tea cup of tea cup of tea So this is what it's looking like at the minute. Um, notice I just sprayed with um, some alcohol to sanitize, but I also do this so that it um, shows up the nail because obviously filing it makes it go cloudy, it covers it in dust. So I spray, I examine and if I need to do any more filing work, any more removal of lifted acrylic, then I'll go ahead and do that now um, before I do anything else. But as you can see, that is completely blended. There's no lifted areas whatsoever. Everything is hunky-dory, ready to go. So now I have finished doing that and blending everything in. It's time to come in and fit my nail form. I'm just showing you what the nail looks like as well here. The nail form that I use are the NSI, I think the platinum ones. I think it says it on the form. Let's see if we can see it. Let's have a look. Look 
God, I'm taking ages, man. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, so just fit the form. I think it is just platinum. Yeah, just platinum forms from NSI. I really love these, like, so much. The ones that I really want to try are the Tammy Taylor. What are they? I don't know what they are, but they're the white ones. I really want to try those so bad. Um, so, yeah, Tammy Taylor order is in need. Anyway, so fitting the form, pinching it together, making sure it's nice and secure, well up to the nail, there's no gap or anything like that. I want it to be nice and snug. We can now come in and prime the nail and then go ahead and lay our acrylic. So I do go ahead and prime the infill area and also round to where we removed the acrylic. Any exposed natural nail needs priming. Um, the primer that I use is also NSI, I pretty much use the whole NSI range, apart from like some colours and stuff like that, but yeah, yes. Now I am getting my brush ready, I just know that I am, exactly, you see it up there, I'm getting it ready, ready for action, and I'm going to come in and apply the first bead up near the cuticle, excuse me, I didn't do it near the cuticle, I also did a little burp, sorry, um, so I'm filling in the gap. So I soaked, soaked out. I um, picked up my bead, and then I dabbed my, the back of my brush onto my paper towel to take out any excess liquid because we did not want this bead to be runny. But we didn't want it to be too dry that it didn't fill the gap um, and get right in and meet the nail underneath as well. But we wanted it to be, um, yeah, not too dry and not too wet that it's going to be running all over the place. Like, you don't want to put that bead in there and it be seeping all under the nail, all into the side walls, because that would not be pretty. Especially when you take off that form and you look underneath and you've got ridges and horribleness underneath. It is not cool. Um, and plus it catches a lot of bacteria, dirt, food, you know what, growing under there is not okay. So you need that form nice and flush. Um, and you need your consistency of your acrylic to be on point. So now that I have done the, like filled in the gap and also my first bead, my first bead, what am I on about? And also my bead for my infill. I then come back in and just add another one just to level out um, the whole nail because when you obviously you um, look at your nail from the side from all angles I didn't notice it was dipping just ever so slightly like I hadn't filled it in enough so I just popped a little bit more in there and you just want to infill it and build it up to where you are happy with the shape and all that possess. Now that I've done that and allowed the nail to set, this is what it looks like and you can go ahead and remove your form. As you can see we have a brand spanking new nail! Woo -woo -woo. Yes! Now I'm going in and shaping and filing and yes, that is like crucial. Oh by the way, this is, um, probably already guessed that guys. Um, so I have got, um, oh I don't know which one this is, okay yeah, so this is the nails that were the pink chrome ones and then I'm going to do a multicoloured chrome, um, but for this video it's just the fixing of this thumbnail, um, because I thought it'd be interesting and it's always good to learn, like learning is so important, like to constantly feed your brain and just learn, like soak it all up, soak it all up, man. So yeah, that is what the finished nail looks like and then you can go ahead and do what the hell you want with it. I'm going to apply this beautiful pastel blue gel polish from Candy Coat. It's so cute. It's like a, I think it's called powder blue, and literally that is what it reminds me of, like a powder pastely blue. So I love it. And yes, yeah, so I didn't have a final picture of the finished nail, which I was a bit gutted about, but I had the footage of the um, colours applied to the nails. So I'll just pop that in there so you can see. Can you see it? There it is. I've put an arrow so you didn't miss, obviously, the pastel blue one. <laughs> you can see which one it is. So yeah, fix the nail. Bish bash bosh. Bob's your uncle. Finished. 
don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and also give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye!